Come next year, state leaders have a major decision in front of them. Expand Medicaid to cover adults making less than 15 grand a year or not. The governor is still on the fence, but a major federal official made her pitch while visiting New Mexico today. News 13's Alex Goldsmith has the story. Jessica, the Medicaid expansion would be mostly paid by the feds, and it's expected to cover as many as 170,000 more New Mexicans. Critics wonder if the state can afford it. U.S. Health Secretary Kathleen Sebelius says there's a cost to not expanding the program, too. Health care for New Mexico's neediest doesn't come cheap. Our state's share of Medicaid's cost is projected to hit nearly a billion dollars a year by 2014. Under the Affordable Care Act, that same year, states have the option of expanding that program to poor adults. U.S. Health Secretary Kathleen Sebelius says that expansion won't cost New Mexico initially. 100% is paid for in the first three years by the federal government of all the newly insured. There's no such thing as free money, and what might seem like free money initially is going to turn into a massive burden on New Mexico taxpayers down the road. Rio Grande Foundation President Paul Guessing says that's because the state will eventually pay 10% of the total cost of expansion. The state human services department estimates that could cost as much as half a billion dollars for the first six years alone. We have a broken system that's not working right now. We don't need to expand a broken system. But Sibelia says not extending Medicaid in a state where nearly one in four are uninsured has its own issues. I think there's a huge cost. Uh, there's a cost on uh, our uh, low-income workers who may not have affordable health care, who are less productive because they're sick more often. The governor says she hasn't made up her mind. We need to know what flexibility we're allowed. We need to know what boundaries. We need to know how to do this correctly because there aren't a lot of instructions on how this is done if we're going to expand it. Last week, the governor's office sent a list of questions to the federal government about a possible Medicaid expansion to hopefully help her make a decision there's still some time to get some answers. State lawmakers who also have a say in this process don't meet up until January. Back to you. Okay, Alex, five states have already said they will not be expanding Medicaid, while 12 states and D.C. have already expanded or will expand Medicaid.